the Ark of the Covenant, hidden in the Great Pyramid of Giza, according to the measurements fitting its dimensions. The Ark of the Covenant that, of course, was prepared by Moses during the exodus of the tribes of Israel, the exodus from Egypt after the plagues of Egypt. The Ark of the Covenant contained three things. It contained the tablets of the law of the Ten Commandments given by God to Moses. It contained a jar of manna, and it contained the budding rod of the high priest Aaron. These three things. Now, according to some, they believe that according to ancient religious texts, the Ark of the Covenant, also known as the Ark of the Testimony, is a golden wooden chest described in the book of Exodus in the Old Testament of the Bible, containing the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, and refers to various verses of the Torah and the Bible, and remains a great mystery to historians. Whatever happened to the Ark of the Covenant, it's not known. Now, while some claim it never existed, others seek it out, convinced that it did exist and it was real, Others claim to have located that this and know where, it's, uh, where it is now. Others, based on descriptions given in the text, estimate that the Ark of the Covenant should essentially be an electric capacitor with two electrodes separated by insulator guides. This hypothesis, according to some researchers, is confirmed by the enormous power it is supposed to have, to have had, as described in the texts, and as true as it may be, the Ark of the Covenant has found a new theory that directly connects it to one of the most enigmatic ancient structures in the planet's surface, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Simply put, it's argued that Giza's Great Pyramid was used to house the Ark of the Covenant. Proponents of the case have been working to make the actual transcript of this statement available online. Proponents have been working to make the actual transcript available and as we read in the ancient code and noted by Jerry Cannon of Crystal Links, the word box comes from the Hebrew word Aaron, which means a chest and box. It simply came to our notice then. The Ark of the Covenant is the same as the exact volume of the stone chest or the porphyry in the king's room in the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Isn't that a coincidence? Hmm. The only object in the king's chamber was this empty graphite ch chest, stone chest, in the king's chamber, just as the ark was the only sacred object in the Holy of Holies in the temple. Also, the basin, where the priests washed their feet, had the same dimensions. So it's not easy to say that this is a coincidence, but in such, in, in, so, since such a version could be valid, we must ask ourselves the reasons and motives for placing it in the Great Pyramid of Giza. Among many others, the hypothesis that the Ark of the Covenant escaped uh, to escape those who, were, uh, who wanted to uh, place their hands on it and keep it. But beyond the dimension, there does not seem to be anything else that further reinforces this direction of the allegations, as neither the tablets of Moses with the Ten Commandments or anything else have been found to further confirm the theory. So the investigation still continues. I've translated this for you from a Greek article, Via Drastica. Please tell me what you think about this theory. Now, we don't know what was in that granite box in the Great Pyramid of Giza, but the thing is this, that about 1500 BC, when the Exodus took place, the Ark did not exist. Now, Moses, we know, was uh, a type of a prince of Egypt. He was, as from what the Old Testament says, he was a prince of Ethiopia, the whole of Ethiopia. So obviously he had a lot of clout in Egypt. The thing is, though, that the Ark of the Covenant was constructed after Moses and the Israelites left Egypt. So they did not return to Egypt to place the Ark in the Giza Pyramid. The Ark did not even exist until after they left. And it existed months later when they started constructing it after they left Egypt. They never went back. They only went back to uh, 
uh, of course, the Holy Land, the land of milk and honey, 40 years later, carrying the Ark with them, the Ark of the Testimony. And for 40 years, they were carrying the Ark with them in the Sinai Peninsula, in the desert. And then, of course, they took it, and uh, after King David, King Solomon constructed the Temple of Solomon, the first temple which housed the Ark of the Covenant in the Holy of Holies. So I don't believe personally that the temple, the uh, Giza Pyramid, housed the Ark of the Covenant because it didn't exist until after Moses and the Israelites left Egypt. Anyway, please tell me what you think and leave your comments. Thank you so much. God bless you and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.